Hi everyone, I wanted to share something with you. Um, pomegranates, and this is what a pomegranate looks like, are in season right now, and this is a U.S. pomegranate. See? As a matter of fact, I'm going to take my sticker and put it right into my breakfast journal page. Mm, this one too. I usually, if there's two, I usually save one for my husband, but that's okay. He can get his own while he's out and about. So this is what a pomegranate looks like, and I know it could seem really intimidating, and a lot of people don't really know how to handle it, but I have I grew up eating pomegranates. They were really more like the popcorn type of snack for us in the household when I was a kid. And I grew up on the Black Sea, so uh, this is the time of year that they're uh, readily available in most grocery stores. Um, so the pomegranate will look like this, and you want to look for one that doesn't have any rot spots because if it's rotten on the outside it'll be rotten on the inside and the inside is filled with these jewel tone seeds and each seed is totally edible it's a tart and slightly sweet flavor um, somewhat akin to a little bit of a cranberry a little bit of a grape the inside seed is totally edible so you really want to eat just the seeds. This pulp is bitter and you don't want it. Um, so this is the way that I bust into a pomegranate in order to keep my hands color free. This used to be used as a natural uh, way to color fabrics. Um, it's similar to how grapes may have been used or beets. Oh, and I have a meeting in a few minutes. So I better hurry up. So this is the way I start off. There's two ends. This is the end that the stem that's the way it grows I think no this is the way it grows this is where the flower was and I start off with this end because it's the softest and all I do is you could take a paring knife I typically just use my nail and poke it it's the flesh is pretty solid it's not it's like a really thin orange flesh so let me show you this one I'm using for uh, I'm gonna add the seeds of this one to our stuffing because I'm making a turkey well, I came home with a turkey. It's in the oven now, and I think I'm gonna, I might have a video for that. So I've already peeled away, as you see, a little more, about a third. And the stem was up here, and I peeled it away, and then slowly peel back this. And the seeds inside are in little segments. And actually, this is a good spot to break away. Watch. I'm going to try not to get it too juicy. So all those little seeds, all those jewel tone gorgeousness, this is all edible. So another way to do it, if you're trying to get a lot out quickly, is to cut it um, down the center this way, like the equator way, and then turn the cut side down into a bowl and tap it with a wooden spoon and the seeds will fall out. So if you're not eating them, if you're not intending to eat seed by seed like a snack, this is the quickest way. So you cut it in half and then tap it into a bowl each half. Because squeezing it will just produce juice. And the juice is delicious too. And the juice of uh, pomegranate actually I believe has more vitamin C than oranges. And this is the fruit that many scholars believe was mentioned as the fruit that tempted Adam in the Bible. So there you go. Quick way to access uh, pomegranate. Oh, go buy one and try it out. I just love them. Um, tell me what your favorite snack is. I'd love to see it. Thanks so much for watching.